All right, today we're in the great outdoors with the Nutsack Rucksack. This is a fantastic backpack in the top loading configuration. To be honest, I haven't done a ton of reviews on the top loaders out there, but I'm starting to. So we're gonna take this one, this top loading 20 liter, and we're gonna compare it to some other ones that I've recently seen, namely the GORUCK M22 and the ASIO Equipment Amhara Travel Backpack. So those are three awesome ones to look at real quick, mostly on this Nutsack Rucksack, which is kind of fun to say. But that's what we're gonna do today. Let's take a look at the Nutsack Rucksack. All right, so I've been into top loaders recently, and so this is the Rucksack, no K, Rucksack from Nutsack. So it's the Nutsack Rucksack, so you can say that three times fast, but this is a waxed canvas build of their basically backpack that they carry. Super awesome, super great. And you know, big thanks to them for sending me this sample to evaluate. And again, it's a, uh, again, wax canvas, can't be wrong. Nice leather accents. We're gonna dive into this one. We're also gonna pull out some of my other favorites top loaders and I don't have a ton of them, but the ones that I really do like and use, we're gonna take out those, compare them side to side to this 20 liter rucksack from Nutsack. And just to kind of rip the bandaid off on water bottles, it does fit. Um, and really this chloral one is probably the best size uh, for this one. I had the Yeti in a lot of photos. It just kind of sags out and it's just a little too big. You can put a, one of the Nalgene's in there, but again, it's still just too, too big and bulky. But what's awesome about it is you have these little snaps that can be clamped shut or snapped rather so that when you're on the go and you really don't want a water bottle in there, you get back to this slim look of just the classic bag. So there it is. That's really cool. I like that. And I think that's probably how I'll roll most of the time uh, because I normally have a bigger water bottle. But anyway, this, uh, you know, and again, top loader, nice little buckle system which, you know, I don't have it on any other bag. It's just a nice classic look, nice leather tab and a brass little post. It's a little bit of a learning curve getting that on and off um, when you first get used to it, but I like it. it. Just gives a different look to it that I do really like. Nice, just a loop handle um, with a nice leather accent. One thing that really kind of is off for me is that, you know, brown leather, brown leather, brown leather, brown leather on a black bag is just not something you typically see, but it does work here, in my opinion. It's just really nice. The zipper pulls all have these nice, again, leather accents. So, you know, it's, it's basically a heritage style of a top loader. So we'll pull out another Go Ruck bag here in a little bit and go a little side by side. The straps are comfortable, reasonably padded. Got a little spacer mesh, uh, 3D mesh uh, underneath that is not, you know, probably as durable as other designs, but it's just pretty basic in my opinion. They got uh, a nice little just classic buckle system here in the bottom, which is cool. It definitely works, clamps down on this webbing. No keepers for the remainder of the strap, uh, but it is kind of hard to undo on the go. So just think about that. This isn't the kind of bag that you're gonna put on and completely adjust these straps, at least loosen them up. Tighten them down, no problem. Loosening them up, that's another deal. Really no other external access except this one zipper on the side, which we'll get to in a second from when it's packed out mode. It's pretty compact and there's no laptop compartment per se. There's a sleeve on the inside, but really access from this one zipper gets you really the whole compartment. A lot like the, the M22 from GORUCK, but in this case it's on the back corner and it allows you to really add and subtract things, but it's just from this sort of slit opening to get stuff out. So, um, and there's really no sleeve. The sleeve opening for your laptop is on the top. So you're really just kind of sliding whatever you have on the back of the bag, which if that's a deal breaker. Just consider that as you uh, look at this rucksack from Nutsack. But then when we open this compartment, we see we get a whole bunch more access. In this case, we have a one zipper access. Now the <laughs> This was, I was really excited about this because I was gonna take this to work and use it as my work bag. So, but the problem is, just have the Axwell wallet in there. But what, the annoying thing is this pocket only goes down to here. So it's really just a phone, wallet, keys, AirPods, maybe sunglasses, 
in this front pocket just because of the depth of it. It's lined with this nice material on the inside, so cool. But again, just not very deep. If it went a little bit deeper for you to put an iPad in there, a tablet, I guess you could fit your mini in there. But other than that, really just not putting very much in that front pocket, which is kind of a bummer. Nice uh, intern, you know, the inside of this is just this lined um, cotton material. So really nice and comfortable, you know, just one drawstring on the inside of this. So just think about that. It's pretty nice. Uh, we'll dive into that in a second as we unload things. So what does it carry? What do I have in here? Well, at the very top, I've just got a cap one because it just fits anywhere. And it's what I would carry on the go. Cap two on the very top. And then we've got uh, along the bottom a Step 22 tech pouch and then the Huckberry Peak Design tech pouch. Those, these things were basically on their side. This was on top and then we had this. So definitely holds a lot of stuff. This 20 liter capacity, just access to that means you're just coming at it from the top. Now um, inside, just a couple little things to, to talk about and it's gonna be tough to show you, but this inside on the back has a compartment. Let's do it this way. So on this back side, you have a zipper pocket along this flap, which is cool, but again, not super deep. It's almost as deep as this front one. And then you've got a very nice and padded laptop sleeve. I did have my 14 inch MacBook Pro in there and it worked out just fine. And also it's elevated. So whatever you put in there is not gonna impact the ground whenever you're dealing with this bag, which is a nice feature that I wish every bag maker did. Now along the front of the bag, zip that sucker. Along the front of the bag are two drop-in pockets. So those are nice, um, definitely like those. And additionally, you've got a little like snap on one side, I guess for your keys, maybe clip the carabiner in there. Super cool. So just two little drop-in pockets, not zipped, just another way to put a couple things in there. And it does fit this mighty pouch from Crush Belt Gear. So that's what I had in there, jammed with a couple stuff. So it does fit some bigger items. The other side is just a deck of cards, the Peter McKinnon deck from Theory 11, but really that's just it. So very simple design in terms of bags and interior features. But to be honest, it has more than the GORUCK bag right out of the box. So anyway, that's how it compares. But it's this, this nice waxed canvas. So if you really like that style, I think you'd really like this one because it's just a nice classic feel to it. Very subtle styling on the front. And it's just a nice open, go to work, top loading bag. Now, one thing that I'm coming to terms with is how much material on a top loader companies put in there. In this case, I kind of like this amount of material, not a ton. And so you can fold it down and just really go to work out of the top of the bag without worrying about anything um, or fold it inside. And it's really kind of out of your way and you get access to everything. Not so in other companies. When you draw this thing tight, it closes enough. And then you've got this flap to keep everything protected. I think that's just, you know, what I like about this bag in particular besides it's just it's classic styling and all the material choices throughout this bag i do like this access because if you didn't well you really can't put your ipad anywhere else and you're on the go you can just quickly get at stuff that you maybe put in the back of that so just something to consider um super awesome one thing i didn't point out yet is the bottom it's got a nice leather bottom pretty thick and durable for whatever you would throw at this bag. That's it, that's the Nutsack from Rucksack, which is fun to say, the Nutsack from, the Rucksack from Nutsack. Let's compare this to two other favorite bags right now. So you've seen this one, this is the, the M22. A little bit different opening system. Of course, I added these fit locks. But what's similar between these two is you have one water bottle pocket on this. You got a snap on this side. You got one external pocket. So that's a plus to this one because it's on, actually you get two, you get the one on the side and the one on the front. So more access on this M22 compared to this. Can you imagine this in a waxed canvas heritage build? Anyway, side bottle pocket. A little lacking in here, just, just a very simple design. No snaps, no elastic, so it takes away from the internal volume if you use the M22 side bottle pocket. 
internal wise, and this is where I was getting at the, the amount of material on the top of that bag. If we rip this thing apart, we just have a ton more material at the top of this top loader. And so yeah, more than likely it's for me, it's folded on the inside and out of the way. But if you had stuff on the back installed by scars, which I do have coming soon, it sort of prevents you accessing that sleeve on the back. So we'll see how that works out. Again, the inside of this bag is just plain, nothing in there. So now there is an internal organization on the inside of the lid on this one, the M22, so that's a plus. So maybe some features they could add to the rucksack in the future, but that's just how they generally compare. The other thing is the laptop sleeve on this is externally mounted and accessed. So that's just a GORUCK style thing that you don't have here. You do have a front zipper, again, front pocket, or front zipper access to get into the bag. This one has that on the back, so there you go. That's just a general rundown and feature comparison between the M22 and the rucksack from Nutsack. Very similar in volume and packability, I would say. More overall features with pockets and layouts in this, but there is definitely some things that I think could be, you know, some ideas could be taken from the rucksack and brought to the M22 as they, you know, merge their features. And again, it would be so awesome in waxed canvas. This is a, a little bit of a hint, a little bit of a preview, but I have this ASIO Equipment Amhara Travel Backpack. And this is for another project coming soon, probably in, you know, maybe in the mid year, but I'm working on a project to basically totally change this in a custom design, but way bigger. This one's 28 liters. This is only 20 still top loading. And again, just, and I'm only going to talk about this one feature on this because I'm going to do a total video on this one, but this one just has two drawstrings, an outer one and it has an inner one. So this has got two layers on this one. So that's, that's just that super cool. Of course, they have different ways to customize their latching system, but this one's just super awesome. More about that later. But anyway, this is the Nutsack Rucksack. I do like it. Pretty simple design, lacking in some features externally, but it makes up for some of that on the inside with some cool internal pockets. That's it. Check out the link in the description to see more about the Nutsack and the M22 and the Amhara travel backpack that I have. Um, it's just the stock edition. In the future, we're gonna see more about that bag and more about the M22. Here's a spoiler, I actually have a black M22 being totally um, decked out at Scars. Can't wait to see what they've done to that one. And that will be coming up in the next couple weeks. So there you go. So there you go, that's what I think of the Nutsack Rucksack. Fantastic, a lot of cool features, wax canvas, super awesome, just always classic. Great for just about anything and some awesome features, especially when you compare to that GORUCK M22. A lot of things that might not be for you. And again, for me, it's really the inability to take that uh, iPad with me to work. So for me, it's really not gonna work, but it might work for you. It's got a lot of awesome, just classic features I think are worth checking out. So go to the link down in the description, go check out the rucksack from Nutsack. It's a nice day here in Georgia. Get outside, everything's better outside. Uh, hit the like button down below, sign up for alerts, subscribe. You're not gonna miss what's happening next. Got some really cool stuff coming up soon. You're not gonna wanna miss, so see ya.